Let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get rocked. Episode 19. She was it's a fun age. Back on the horse, 19. 19. That is a yeah. fun age, 19. 19. I reckon yeah. it's my favourite age. Yeah, I think it was mine too. I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. no, early 20s I think was my favourite. That's pretty good. A little bit more confidence. That's when I started drinking when I was 19. Did you know that? No. And I have not stopped. <laughs> like, no, I have. Today <laughs> and yesterday and the day before. Yeah. 19 is good. good age. Yeah. I think um, you've, had a, you've had a year of... Like you got to find when you're 18, you start going out to, like going out drinking and stuff. It takes you a little while to settle into the groove, the of, rhythm. Yeah, yeah, learn your lessons and stuff, and then yeah, 19, yeah. you're piss Away fit. You go. You yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is a, a special fishy bee episode, uh, and hit us up on all the socials. What do we yeah, got? Yeah, backonthehorsepodcast.com. dot mm-hmm. and that'll link you to your favourite pipes. Pick your pipe. Pipe. Pick your pipe. Yeah, that's ah, a pipe. Excellent. I've lifted that from another podcast. Oh, but right. pick your pipe. Yeah, that's cool. You have social pipes. You got your TikTok. You got your Instagram. Why is it YouTube? pipe though? I don't know, it's just a pipe, an avenue yeah. for your content. Maybe just lift good shit, not stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like it. All right. Uh, on that note, we'll start off the first fishy oh, bee question hell. for episode nineteen. Uh, and thanks again, everyone tuning in. Uh, does your star sign match your personality? I have no Wouldn't idea. have a fucking clue. <laughs> no? I'm a Gemini, which I understand is like a two-faced prick or something like oh, that. Oh, that yeah. does, actually. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I'll just set them up. You guys knock them down. <laughs> I think episode 18 was your roast episode, but we'll just continue. I hear yeah. that episode 19. Geminis and Scorpios are quite... Um, <laughs> Compatible, and my wife is a Scorpio, and you are a Scorpio. Yes, yep. And it's all bullshit. We, we are compatible. <laughs> yeah, that means every person who's a Scorpio, I'm compatible with, even the fuckheads. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what that was the other part of it. Then, do you believe in nah. those kind of? Well, obviously not. Like, so I don't usually rule anything out as being. I rule some shit out. I'm ruling that out. <laughs> but what about the, oh, you're, you're into the universe kind of thing. What so, t- what's your star sign? I'm Virgo. I thought, Wait, you're, I, got a I thought you were a cancer because you got a face like a fucking crab. <laughs> <laughs> a smash um, one. I stole that. A smash crab, yeah. What are you, Virgo? Virgo, September, yeah. Right, okay. But, yeah. I mean, like, what's the... So where premise? the Earth was in the universe at that time where you were born... Is that meant you, to be... That, you that like means you. every person is the same in that... Well, there's you different the, traits you, for the day you, you were born, you though. You read the horoscopes... Like God, they're, they're just terrible. written so in such a generic way <laughs> oh, that it could things may go well not... or badly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. yeah, Tash again. reads them out to me and she'll go, "But that's so real for me, isn't it?" Yeah, I'm like, "Yeah, but that's real for everybody." Yeah. They're so generic. Yeah. It, it was big in when I was in high school with the females. They, they were massive on it, yeah. and it became. Mm. And I was like, oh, "Actually, yeah. that's a thing." Saying females, I read something. I think it was on a Simpsons meme group. There was a big meme thread. Where you get all your news from. Yeah, massive meme thread about whether you can say females or not. Oh, really? Yeah, like, a, yeah. I'm going to fucking say it. Like, yeah. Yeah. like if, if that's a... If that's a uh, is it okay to say that or not? Any way to say that or not? Anyway. I say girls or ladies or... Yeah, it's hard to I have a like collective noun for... The opposite sex? Well, because so, that, like girls doesn't cover women. Women doesn't cover girls. I know. Yeah. Then there's guys. That's a funny one. Some some women don't like the word guys being used, but like my well, Erin will say guys to her friends. Yeah. Like I, I, there's no real collective now for me to say, hey guys, how's it going? When there's men and women, I, there's a thing about not saying the word guys. So what can I say? Yeah. What if their star sign says we don't like saying guys? Yeah. And you're that's like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like when yeah. But anyway, team. like I don't usually rule possibilities out. Like even religion, I'll leave a small possibility that the religions are correct. Yep. Um, not star I, signs. I was like, but star signs, like that's They're clearly out. been yeah. I made real, up. I real shit yeah. out a lot quicker than you do. <laughs> Astronomy <laughs> and astrology. Yeah, I'm the same with the crystals because at some point, like way, way, way back, someone dug that up and went, I'm going to decide what this crystal does. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then told everyone, okay, this is jade. It makes you feel... Yeah, you know, yeah I, can't get into, I can't get into any of that stuff. Yeah. But, and it's quite funny because my wife, you know, she's quite into that stuff. Into that, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
She's not fully full on into it. Like when when we talk about what was in the paper on the star sign, she's a bit understanding. Yeah, that's yeah. written by the intern. I've had people you'd, you'd meet people in that, and they're like, "Oh, I bet you you're a, I can just tell you're a Scorpio or you're a, you know, Virgo or something like that." And I'm like, "Oh, fuck do they know when you're born?" <laughs> no, but that's what they're saying. They don't. They, Probably check your Facebook. Is it your birthday? <laughs> is this at your birthday party? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're all kind of saying we don't really believe in the woo-woo star yeah. sign kind of stuff. No. Or, Remember no. when Ali G was interviewing those <laughs> feminists? This is what Fisher and he said, so that is a very sexist way to talk about these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't say that. Oh. Okay. Um... What are you or your partner's worst habits? Habits. Oh, see, Scott's in a powerful position here where his wife doesn't listen to the potty. Yeah, true. I'm going to have to be very careful. But you can pick your own if you want. You Um, or your wife's partner. I'm trying to think of her bad habits. I'll go. My, (laughs) My wife hates that I just dump my fucking dirty washing on the... Like, I'm quite, I'm the neatest and cleanest person in my family. Right. Um, and I just dump dirty washing on the ensuite floor and leave it in a, like, in a, not everywhere, in a pile. We've got two sinks. It's in a pile in front of my sink. And I just leave a big pile there until I move the whole fucking thing to the hamper. Yeah. Yeah. And she fucking hates. I'm like that. that. Like, I've got a system for what I'm doing, but she doesn't understand what it is. The mossy? Jeez. They're everywhere tonight. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I got a pile. Yeah. I'll put next to my seat. And then I'll eventually... I'm like, okay, those undies any. are still good. They're still good. That's the still good pile. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's not what my yeah. pile is. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and yeah one that's thing, true. One yeah. thing that Erina does, actually... That annoys um, the shit out of you. Is, oh, it's a bad habit or whatever. Is she'll, uh, often she'll ask me if I want something. Like, she, if I'm relaxing, <laughs> she'll yeah, ask me if I want a drink or something. Like, do you want a drink... Or do you want something? I'm like, oh, I, okay, I guess. Yeah. And then she's like, it's in the fridge. go get it yourself. Bait <laughs> 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 and switch. Yeah. That's yeah. a red flag, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, um, my wife's worst habit, and this is no surprise to her. <laughs> she, if she, if I'm in the middle of telling a story, a long story or something, and she gets a thought. She has to verbalise it in that right. moment, oh, and it just yeah. throws you off track with the story. Yeah. And I often, I wonder say, what the weather's going to be like. Tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I, I was going to say. I I often ask her, "Can you just say it at the end?" I ask questions at the end, yeah. but she's but she'll say, "I've forgotten it by then. I need to say it, so, otherwise it's out of my head." Yeah. and it just drives. Yeah, me I got a similar thing actually there, and I, and another thing, um, and another thing. <laughs> Is and like just roll. say um, we get a message or I get a message from someone. I don't know. Like we're making plans with say my parents to go somewhere for dinner or something like that. And I kind of get a message and I kind of read it out. Like uh, we'll be there at six o'clock or something. And then like she'll ask me all these follow up questions. I've I've literally just. Everything I know is what you know right yeah. now. Like the, she's asking all these second level questions yeah, about it. That you know nothing about. <laughs> I know. We Speaking both know of, the same message that they sent yeah. now. Speaking of reading out messages, Scott and I were once in a, oh, yeah. in a, a, great in a, a bait and tackle shop. <laughs> and I was asking the guy, the shop person, right. for some help with something. And he was helping me. About the bait. We wanted yeah, to know. Well, like, no, it, it was about tackle. We were like in an aisle looking River. at tackle. We were going to a houseboat yeah. in the Tweed River. I think I was asking about crab pots. And he was showing me the different crab pots and stuff. And <laughs> Scott held his phone out in front I of me. I just knew. Like, I just knew. I had this feeling in my head. This guy looks like. Yeah. He, he looked like a celebrity. The, the guy serving me yeah. looked like Ricky Ponting. Yeah, he looked like Ricky Ponting. And I just looked, had to tell Jiggles in he, the moment, yeah. this guy looks like Ricky Ponting. you got to know he looks like Ricky Ponting. So, so I'm, thought, I'm talking to him. So he holds his phone I thought I'll type it on my me. phone and I'll, I'll just show it to he him. Had the, and the notepad was open. <laughs> and I and he shoves it in my face while I'm trying to Talk comprehend to the these crab pots. Yeah. And I just read it out loud. I just went, <laughs> this <laughs> this guy looks like Ricky. And Scott goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just I just read what was in front of me. <laughs> this guy looks like Ricky. <laughs> anyway, I've, I've got a bad habit. 
Of putting a hose on your wife? Yeah. Is yeah. that it? <laughs> it was a non-aggressive hose. <laughs> um, no, no what, what, this is a bad habit that I do, is whenever she's looking for something around the house, she goes, have you seen the keys? I'll just yell out from the other end, got them. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Yeah, and then she goes, you got them? I go, no, 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 but I'm just getting you practice for when you do find them. <laughs> That's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, she, yeah. she hates that. Oh, that, I can understand why. That's cruel. That's so cruel. I'm fucking on, I, I'm on board I actually with get that. really frustrated, and I think this is on me more than her. Like, if I've lost something, I really, and I just get like, fuck, where is it? Where did I put it? And I just, I'm never satisfied with the level of care that she's got for helping me find it. Like, oh, all right. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, where, where's that? Where, where did I put that? And she's like, I don't know, just look for it or whatever. Tasha's, <laughs> Tasha's <laughs> thing to do is, if she can't find something, is searches for the person to blame that, for the, that ah, she can't yeah. find. Who's, who's moved it? <laughs> like, that she goes to that real quick. Who's put it? Well, I left it there. <laughs> Who moved it? <laughs> Sounds like every female I know as well. So no, I'm kidding. I haven't listened to any of my bad habits, but... No, I'd, I'd be crawling with them. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, jeez, I, don't talk to anyone. I was about partners. to say before, I side with Erin on fucking everything that you've got to say. <laughs> We're trying to keep this one under an hour. She deserves, so I'll shut up. She deserves a fucking medal. That woman. Uh, all right. Well, next question. Um, all right. Um, if you had to live in another country, what would it be? Where would it be? Ooh. Sorry. What? Right. Oh no. Well, I got. Yeah, I, can't, I haven't been to Europe, so I don't have any knowledge of. It would be Europe or North yeah. America, I reckon. I reckon I'd probably say Canada. Oh, I've, I've heard, heard some pretty. I've shit. heard some bad things about Canada. I've heard some shit things about Toronto lately. Um, like Vancouver, maybe. When, when I went to Vancouver, it, like the homeless people there, there was heaps. I, yeah, I, there it's was getting more worse, than apparently. San Fran. All, when we came back from New York, we genuinely considered packing up our lives and moving there for 12 months. Yeah. It was yeah. only our dog that kept us. <laughs> I'd probably go maybe New Zealand. Uh, that's what Is I've always similar? said. Yeah. Everyone New Zealand? I just feel like that's Australia. Yeah. Well, that's right. Kind of, if I couldn't yeah. live in Australia, the closest thing is New Zealand, yeah. I reckon. Yeah. Go there. And I yeah. just, I don't know if I'm just blinded, like this is just blind... Uh, Naivety or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but <laughs> JD said times like, this episode. <laughs> I, I think Australia has to be. Is it, is it bias? But it yeah. has to be the best place to live. Oh, it definitely is. Like yeah. from a. A from it's a. Both. Just, uh, it's bias and true. La- landscape slash weather slash everything. Like there's like heaps of cool stuff here. Yeah. But also from the society of Australia, I yeah. think. Culture. It's head and sh- shoulders above. My perception of what yeah. other actually, countries are. You know? That actually lends itself to why I would, if I had to choose somewhere else, I don't think I'd choose New Zealand. The only thing I reckon I'm searching for if I was going to live somewhere else for a while was accessibility to easier travel. Because we've got mates who live in the States and Canada and stuff. Yeah. And they're so easily able to travel to different places. Or if oh, you're yeah. in Europe, you know, you can just jump on the train to fucking France for the day. Yeah. Like all that kind of stuff. Australia and New Zealand, we are so far away from being able to travel. Mm. Yeah, a friend of mine yes. lived in Germany, and it was five hours trip, and he was in Italy. Yeah, yeah. for us that's like, oh, yeah. t- nearly a full day. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Rockhampton. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Rocky. Yeah. Shout out to Rocky. Yeah. 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 Lovely Rocky. place. Uh, I just love Australia. I just think it's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one's for stable mates to get to know us all. Uh, where were you born? Emerald. I'm um, not excited. Were you Emerald? Speaking of Rocky, yeah, just north of Rocky. You were born in Emerald. Emerald. And then I lived in Rocky. Thanks for the shout out. Ah, for the long. first five years, yeah. Really? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, my oh. kids called me boring the other day because Tasha's from New South Wales and yep. you know, asking where, where she was born, how long she lived there, why'd you move to Brisbane and stuff. And then what about you, Dad? Uh, RBH. <laughs> <laughs> and where'd, where'd you grow up? Mogul. <laughs> where do you live now? Mogul. <laughs> Benji. <laughs> more boring. <laughs> I was born at home and away, at the, at the Palm Beach there. Oh, terrible. Summer crime. Bay. Terrible. Yeah, Summer Bay. Terrible yeah, crime, right? I was born in Mona Bay, which is a little bit south, but that's where we grew up. You're right? one of the yeah, few right. people that got out alive. Yeah. <laughs> Without a car Alf, fire. Yeah, or yeah. Yeah. End of season, going off a cliff or something. <laughs> yeah, crikey. Uh, I'm Toowoomba, so yeah. Um, they didn't build it, they dug it. Um, now, we've done similar to this uh, before, and you can't pick yourself. 
Remember Tim. that one we did the. Um, well, you got to tell us what it is. But yeah, but I was about to fly in the plane. Who, the plane. who you'd, yeah. who you'd yeah. check? Okay, out of okay, us. Okay, out of the four of us, um, who would you like to be for seven days? Who would you like to be? I'd say I just did. For Can seven I answer? Days. I did. Well, yeah, we've all got to an answer. I did two and a half days building that fence with you, so yeah. I'm not picking you. I was going <laughs> to say leggy. I was going to say leggy, not because I think it's easy, but like the job you do just to. Actually, just fucking because I've done it with you maybe one or two days in a Couple row. Of, yeah, but to do it seven days and just go fuck. I'd go Ben because of Ben's guitar solo. Yeah, yeah. I, was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking I would love to be able to play guitar like Ben. Mm. Yeah, actually, Lucas, my youngest, is obsessed Ben with art because I keep telling him how good a guitarist you are, and every time we're listening to a song. He's always like, could Ben play that? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, he could play that in his sleep. And then, and then he's like, could you play that? And I'm like, yeah, probably not. And then just always asking these hypotheticals, if you could play it and what state you were in, if you like, you would have to be in to be able to play it. Like, could you play it in your sleep? Could you play it half asleep? Could you play it? Oh. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, if he practiced it, uh, I guess, like if he learned it. <laughs> Why you like that, Dad? <laughs> I'm going to lock in Ben, and it's because I don't have a creative bone in my body. Mm. Like, I, no, I'm not. I'm not creative. No, like, not. Don't blow smoke up your ass. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not. But I'd love to know what it is. <laughs> It's been a terrible couple of hours for me. Um, I'd love to know what it's like to be able to look at a blank screen on Photoshop or something and just create something. Or like some of the funny shit that comes out of yeah. him. I'd just love to be able to just craft that on a, on yeah. a screen or even musically what he can do. So mm-hmm. I'm going, Ben. Oh, thanks. All right. Ben cool. Joe. What about Ben? I'm oh, going to yeah. go with Scoot. Oh, thanks. Someone said me. Yeah. Fuck, thanks. I'll go oh, see I'm what's... sitting over here with no one said me. <laughs> I just, how long is it for? Seven days. Seven days. Oh. <laughs> 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 nah, I really think it, I'd, I'd love to see what's rattling around up there. It's not the easy. Same, I think it's the same creative thing you're talking about too. Because I think you're highly creative. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. I've got some conundrums going in my head. Like yeah. everybody... I fucking hate that. I would have no <laughs> desire to see what's you going on. You don't sleep the best of time. Imagine being in Oh, and that, that fucking is... rat's maze up there. <laughs> Just someone hitting the piano. <laughs> 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 oh, nah. Band of between it's mates. Can't me. beat it. Um, <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to read that one? <laughs> oh, oh. I think we covered this in episode 18. I'll get another one. Does Diesel Soot actually get them? Look? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it does. Oh, that oh. guy we were with who had the bumper sticker seemed to get it. Oh. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he was yeah. getting them more, like literally <laughs> while we were there. That's why we, why his other girlfriend couldn't get onto him. <laughs> because he was literally doing that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was because of the car. <laughs> okay, if you won the lotto... Um, would you continue working or what would you do? Yeah, I'd have to. Really? Yeah. So if you won 25 mil? I'd have to do something. And yeah, I'd, I'd just get bored. Like what would you do? If you're not working, again, I don't have a creative boat in my body. <laughs> <laughs> I'd you have know, to do something. Boating? You could You could do a lot. I mean, I'd take some extended time off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you? But I'd, you? Have to, to, uh, I'd have to do something. 25 million, yeah. I mean, definitely, the first thing I'd do is go get a boat. What about Straight away, yeah. go get a boat. Yeah. Um, I want to do something. I think something entrepreneurial, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Just to, yeah, just to keep the juices keep flowing. Keep grey matter moving. Yeah. yeah. At the risk of yeah. my employer thinking I'm not engaged with his business, <laughs> I would probably want to buy my own business or do something yeah, yeah. like that. My brother and I have been talking about this a bit lately, though. My first reaction was I'd probably retire early, yeah. but we've been talking about this. I actually think if you retire too early, you, your um, mental capacity plummets. There yeah. is a saying but, about that. I can't remember what it is, but yeah, it's well, like... Yeah, my brother's... Idle hands of the devil's work? Say again? Idle hands of the devil's work? Maybe. Yeah, yeah my brother's partner, her um, father is in his 70s, and he's sharp as a tack. Because yep. he's still running a couple of businesses and still working and stuff. Yep. Whereas my dad retired when he's was fuck. He was real young. He was in his late fifties or something when he retired. Yep. And I just I can just tell the difference between the yeah. two of them. Like he's I just, think that I think that's true. I think you just get in retired mindset and yeah. 
just waiting. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whereas, yeah. Nah, fuck, I'd be gone. I'd be fucking out yeah. of there. I'd be, I think yeah. you would yeah. have an entrepreneurial. Yeah. Uh, you, you keep s- doing stuff, but I mean, like, yeah. You, something in the music field or something. Oh, yeah. Like, you, yeah. you get stuck into that, those kind of You've things. You've got a creative bone in your body, unlike someone else <laughs> on keep, this podcast. To keep, um, just to keep that grey matter moving. But yeah, I, I yeah. don't think you'd have to working and what you're doing where would you been I'd, I'd get into charities and that kind of stuff yeah. and that thing yeah. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't wear the stress that I'm currently wearing thanks Scott <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I'd, I'd start like five or own five different businesses yeah. so yeah. one day go to like a t-shirt manufacturing place yeah. yeah then do a recording studio for one day yeah that'd be cool yeah. actually a recording studio that'd be awesome yeah, like through. if you had because that's like yeah. a terrible business yeah. like buying all the equipment the location everything but if you've got the money behind you it's just mm. like yeah, just hob- chuck some money out. It's, it's a hobby. hobby slash. Yeah, your business business. is a hobby. Yeah, you'd make yeah. a Doesn't bit of money back on it, but you don't. You're not pressured to. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, you have to turn up there every day to the same thing. Like you know. Yeah, yeah it's different every day. A fishing charter one day. Fishing oh, yeah. charter yeah. on the on the calm days. Um, all right, uh, we sort of covered this on one uh, a previous one, but this is a bit different. If you could get one superpower, what would it be? Uh, so, what what are the boundaries in this? Uh, whatever you want. Right. I think last time we did, would you do visibility or flying? Or flying. Yeah. So, so this but is now anything. it's anything. Superpower, yeah. And then I think Ben's solution to that was just be invisible because then you can just jump on a plane. Yeah, want to see it. And the, if it's a male pilot, it's a cockpit. If I, it's a female pilot, it's a box office. Is that wrong? <laughs> 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 I go time travel. Oh, yeah. I go time travel because time travel, yeah. because time, time travel. I've just experienced it what time travel yeah I have. <laughs> is this about that golf ball that nearly killed you no but everything since that moment has <laughs> been a bonus since i nearly got killed with that golf ball this well, how have you experienced time travel because i completed mario brothers is it because your hair's gone back to when you were 16 yeah it's all that <laughs> it's everything it's so nothing and everything travel? at the same this time because so tesla well, invented it well okay. i think um I think anything's possible if you can time travel. Like you can assess every option that you ever could take in life, and then reverse it and take the other option. Like uh, it, it fuck your brain up. Like just having that many options. I guess it's like when you're recording yeah. and you've got too many choices. They're going to wear off pretty quick. Ta- oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, those drum fills. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Seventeen <laughs> versions of the drum fill, and none of them were any good. Um, yeah, we'd be calling you one take scoop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like I completed Mario Brothers on the weekend or right. last week, but it was only because I had I was playing on the Nintendo Switch and they have this option, which I don't know why uh, they included that, where that. you can I actually rewind. That. That's shit. You can rewind what you just did. If so you if you die, die you can just, go, just go rewind or, and you can have save these restore points and That's save shit. points. So for, for a while, me and the kids were just going, we just discovered the restore points. We go, okay, let's save just before we get to warp zone eight. Let's save here. Let's save here. Then we realized you can just rewind. You can yeah. literally rewind it. So you I've so you finish the whole game. Yeah, but we cheated. Yeah, but like, I took. We, re- oh, we rewound it every time we every die. Every time you die, <laughs> you, just go, okay. you can go back five seconds. Yeah, oh, I've talked okay. Cam out of using that. I've told mm. him that's cheating. Yeah, could see you're just doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably do time travel. I think so. Time power. travel or teleport? I reckon they're the big two that you've oh. got to compare to each other. Yeah, but yeah, I'm thinking. I like invisibility because, yeah, you solve the plane thing, but that you're not solving that fucking Vegas is still 15 hours away. We could go to Vegas right well, now. Well, time travel. Yeah. Yeah. Could you just get on the plane and then time travel to when you get off the plane? That's basically teleporting. I could forget the plane. Just time travel to where you're, where you're where at you Vegas. Yeah. Yep. That could solve everything. Yeah. Okay. You, could, you could go back. Would it be it's too complicated? Would it be too? I wouldn't would it, want that option. Of yeah. In my life, or like, I, that would fuck with your head. Yeah. It's like if we recorded this right now, and we did let's let's do five takes of the every yeah every segment and see which one's the best and optimize yeah. it. Yeah. And all especially that. if Scott was around. I yeah. Want that shit. <laughs> Whereas I think the yeah the optimizing that's what fucks your brain up. Yeah. Like yeah. if you had the option to optimize. Like, okay, now I'm going to time travel back and change that decision and see what happens. What would Tubby do? Yeah, what would Tubby do? He'd he just fucking live his fuck life. Just, just fucking, fucking live it. it. And then fucking die. All right, nah, you guys have just <laughs> moved into a, a new office recently. Yes. Yeah. Thanks if you could lead a parade through your office, what type of parade would it be? <laughs> what the I fuck? I know his answer. Who came up with this? If you could lead a parade through your office. Well, he's obviously Mardi Gras. I reckon so, Penguin Parade. <laughs> penguin? A parade of penguins. I think that's a collective noun, isn't it? 
Yeah. Is that the collective cool. noun of pen- of penguins? Multiple penguins is a parade. We can look it up. We're yeah. gonna look that up. Um, I'd have like a, a rock leader parade. Like I'd do a rock concert kind of thing. Parade of different bands coming. It's the through. weirdest fucking question we've ever had. Isn't on it? Well, it's making you thinking. Yeah. So not. What would put a smile on everyone's faces? Um. Like with your staff there and. Yeah. I wouldn't do the cra- the the cast of that male strip club from the last <laughs> episode. <laughs> I'd put a smile on some faces. Animals, you could animals through puppies, no, a puppy parade, no. that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, what have you got? The Benjo? penguin, fucking weird. Is a collective noun of per, of penguins? Is it parade? The most common collective noun is called a colony. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about the second most common? <laughs> if they're swimming, they're called a raft. Okay, penguins. third most oh, really? common. Oh, oh wad- waddle. waddle. <laughs> is parade <laughs> feature anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Where are they? All right. Uh, that was that's a fucked up question. Yeah, well, no. No, I don't, I, no, I'll just write Did them. Did you have a cookie before you wrote no, that? No, 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 not at all. No. Um, are you a gatherer or a hunter? Oh, that's a good question. I think hunter. You think? I don't know what the difference is. Well, you, you, you said you last episode, uh, episode 16 or something, you'd be fine at hard. One of the stable mate questions was if you had to kill the animal to eat mm. it. Oh, are you talking literally, like, or are you talking sure. metaphorically? Yeah, metaphorically? Well, both, both in life. Yeah, if you had to come, you know, to what's survive. The so tell me, so what's the what's the fundamental difference between a hunter and a gatherer? So hunters traditionally, it's, so would they go kill the beast, the yep. beast, and then what would the gatherers do? Go like collect what the beast, or would they collect berries. like the berries crops, and stuff and berries like and stuff? Okay, yeah. yeah. I like the thrill of the hunt. I think, yeah, like yeah, exploring, discovering, all that sort of stuff. So yeah. that's why I'm led to hunter. Yeah, and what's gatherer? Is that more? You'd stay kind of local, and you you know, this is a bit. This is a bit deep. <laughs> I've never left Mogul. <laughs> I'm a gatherer. You're a gatherer. Yeah. You're a gatherer, yeah. 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 I'm gatherer. A gatherer. Benji? What? I think a hunter. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yep. Or maybe just do the exciting part, then bugger off and let everyone clean the body yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, I'd be a hunter, I think. Yeah, I like that part. aspect of it. Yeah. The, do the exciting part. And Stab them and then run off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't have yeah. to see the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, did you want one, one or two more? Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Gone. Okay. Yeah, uh, what's the drunkest you've ever been? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, when you woke up on the banks of the Brisbane River, that'd have to be up there. Banks of the Brisbane River. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the fight. The worst part what? of this question is that I'm cycling through. Yeah, options. several incidents. <laughs> There's the one where you had twelve of them. I got There's the one where you had to. You yelled at that client at work, and you had to write yourself that note nah, saying that wasn't that's never going to drink scotch ever again. That was just a par. <laughs> that was just a par. Um, the drunkest I've ever been, I was at uni living at St. Lucia on campus. Right. And we were doing shots of Southern Comfort and chasing it with vodka because we thought that's a clear liquid. That's a smart thing to chase it yeah. with. Yeah. Then we went out to the basement. Oh, that was a great place. The covers the band. What was the, the covers band there called? Uh, um I don't know, but they played Guns N' Roses as their last they, song and they nah, were so good at it. They were so good. What was um, the fucking band called? I don't know. but So we went there out. and I threw up in the bathroom <laughs> at the basement and then I've got a big black spot. Oh, really? And the next thing I knew, I woke up in the mangroves, in the mud in the mangroves on the banks of the Brisbane River over the road from the really? regatta. And a city cat woke me up. A city cat went past and the waves went over me. And I woke up in the <laughs> she mud. You just drowned. Yeah. Oh, that is I was pissed. in the mud in the maggot. That's maggot. Where, and I have no idea how I got from wow. the basement to You're there. You're pretty maggot the night I met you. Yeah. First met you. You were pissed. Scotch, yeah, that yeah. was a par. <laughs> that was just a par. That was the night. Was that the night you wished that band, you complimented the band on having a good no, set when they'd the, already played they hadn't a, played yet no, no it was no, in the was studio was it the, the night that I vomited on the street and then no. ate the sausage no we were recording that, was, that, was, no, that was the two night that was the same night no the night I met Leggy was the night you took me to Hungry Jack's to put coffee in me to Before stop me from driving car. my car that's right yeah, <laughs> yeah I think so that we was were the recording in Hubbard's. We were just recording in Nathaniel's. No, the night where you wished the band that was a great set. That was the night you threw up on That was a throw up and eat sausage out of the vomit. Yeah. 
Yeah. So is I that, think I think the Brisbane. I, I hope that that was my drunk. Wow, that yeah. is you. You're lucky. You, you could have drowned. Yeah. yeah. I was unwell the next day. Mm. What about you? I don't know. Well, there's obviously if you're eating sausage remnants out of your own vomit <laughs> then that's got to be out there i reckon there were schoolies when <laughs> schoolies, you sculled that, that 350 375 mil, 375 bottle mil bottle of straight. rum he sculled 375 really? mils of yeah. rum straight oh, and then he was passed out on the bed and i was playing guitar Passing in the living room and i'm like Pat scott Singer. what's the next chord he was E minor, <laughs> and he was getting he was getting them right. Getting them right. <laughs> he was getting them right, so he wasn't that drunk. That was up there. Yeah, that was I up don't there. know. Yeah, it's all the spewy ones. There's I think mine was probably Canada, but um, and I was sick all day, and I threw up, and I don't I hardly ever throw up. Um, and I, it, another one of those where you go, oh, I've drank so much before. Oh, the, you're talking about the one <laughs> when camping. camping. Yeah, when you, I reckon were, I was sleepwalking. That was the night. Was that the night the storm? The Broncos lost against the Storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you took it out on my camping box. <laughs> kicked the shit out of it. <laughs> fucking broke it. <laughs> then went to bed. And and the, you came, in the middle of the night, I don't know, we were both up. I think I must have gone for a piss. You got up. And just I was just there. like, you need to have water. You were just and standing like, there, weren't you? Just yeah, looking you just, out into the That's right. You were just distance. standing there, just staring out into the darkness. Boy Swallows Universe. And then that's I, yeah. Yeah. Well, and then it's I got out. Yeah, oh, yeah, we'll come Netflix, back to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. And then I saw you there just staring into the distance, and I was like, fuck, he needs some water. <laughs> so I held out a bottle of water to you, like to your hand that was just yeah. there, and you couldn't even clasp. Like a baby has a clasp reflex. You'd lost it. So I had to I had to wrap your fingers around the bottle <laughs> for you to grab it, and then lift your arm. Yeah, I don't, yeah that's weird, because I've never done anything like that yeah. before. Uh, a close runner up for me was that night you and I went to Blues Fest at Broad Beach. Oh, and Broad we, Beach, we yeah. watched our mate Asa play a set, oh, yeah. two, two sets. Did you say good set to him before he played <laughs> or after? I said it after he played. And we were drinking craft beer, just bulk pints of craft beer. Yeah. I think we'd been drinking in their room before we went That's there. That's a funny too. term, isn't it? Craft beer. And then we um, jumped in a cab to go back up to surfers where our unit was it was early like it was like it was this was afternoon drinking it was early it was like yeah. 7 or seven thirty at night or something yeah. and i had to get the cab to pull over and i'm like quick you're gonna have to go to the pull over yeah. and he bails out i threw up in the gutter and but the cab couldn't stop where it was stopped so like he's like just go we'll, we'll get him we'll come back for him <laughs> And I just wandered off. And I, I was in the cab on my own. I and I made it back to the unit. Yeah. And I threw up on the balcony of the unit. And then I passed out in the bed. And then Leggy was banging on the door trying to get into the unit later at night. Leggy had to, poor bastard, had to watch the Broncos on his own on the Gold Coast. And he was banging on the door. And I wasn't waking up. So then he rang my wife and said, is there anything you can do to get this fucking prick up? Because I can't fucking wake him up. So then he finally wakes me up. in the room, up. he had the key. Yeah. I then he finally in. wakes me up and he's like, open the fucking door. I'm at the fucking front door. And I open the front door and I'm like, Legs, you're not at the front door. <laughs> and he's going, I'm at the fucking front door. Just open the fucking front door. And I'm like, and I'm getting cranky. I'm like, Legs, I'm standing at the fucking front door now. You're not there. I've got it open. And then I closed it. I'm like, look, you can hear the door. I'm opening and closing it. And then, he, and then just all of a sudden, it's just like it triggered in my brain. I'm like, oh... And what happened was there was the front door to our unit, but then there was like it splits to two doors. Yeah, which splits to two was doors. Like and there an was airlock. an alcove, so there's an airlock. <laughs> so he was so then I it. so I, I quickly looked to the left and saw another door, door. and I opened it <laughs> and there was leggy and I went, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there was spill all over the balcony. Yeah, oh, it was oh, fucked. Yeah. So that's a close runner up. Yeah. <laughs> Weren't you, Ben? I've had a couple of those where you just wake up in a weird spot. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're always quite shocking. Yeah. There's one you and I went to that work lunch and we drank 24 schooners of beer. Yeah. And you left your laptop at I the pub. I left my laptop there. <laughs> and then I got home at like 3 o'clock with we, all grass in my hair. We got the bus home. We did not say a word to no, each other. <laughs> we were both oh, so We were concentrating on that white line. Yeah, oh, that's a thing. If you're on a bus and yeah. you're drunk, you've just got to concentrate so hard. Oh, yeah. And the other, the other one was... Why am I in all these stories? Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, the other ones with my mate Skip were at um, oh, Skip Malulabo. Used to get out there all the time to like all the nightclubs in the main strip there, and they'd serve like a bucket of vodka. It was like ten shots oh. and lemon squash. It was like <laughs> like eleven bucks or something. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And we woke up like on the Esplanade in front of the shops, oh, just like really? spooning each other. <laughs> and, like the uh, sun was up, uh, people uh, were jogging uh, past. Oh, we were on the, yeah, in front of the <laughs> yeah, well, that one of me in Canada, I woke up and I spewed, and I don't spew, and then we're on the bus all day to go to this Mount Robson, which is the highest peak in Canada, or something, and everyone's there getting photos, and that. I'm laying on the grass with a beanie over my head, and I was so sick. Yeah. I was like, felt poisoned. Yeah. It was like really bad, yeah, and then that night I just had to sleep, and yeah. the next day I was fine, but yeah, anyway. Bronze medal for me, Tweed Heads, went out with mates Cam and Joel, and got fucking hammered and woke up I passed out and I woke up on the roundabout that has the markers oh, that separate <laughs> Queensland and New South Wales. Half my body in Queensland, half my body in New South Cam Wales. And Joel. Oh. Yeah, guys we went to school with. Joel right. passed away. Rest um, in peace. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that the night when you were pretending you were Adam Scott or something? <laughs> no, that was up at Noosa. <laughs> I, I didn't pretend I was Adam Scott. I pretended I was in a golf tournament. There's a golf. We went up to watch a golf tournament. I pretended I was one of the professional golfers to the girl at the bar. Oh, I was talking in an American accent. Oh, oh god, that telling, would have been just telling, absolutely. Telling, <laughs> oh, telling train her that I was a professional oh, golfer. No. And then the next day, I went back and I said to her, "Did you see me on the news?" Oh, god. Oh, did you? And she goes, "What do you mean?" I said. I was on the news this morning and I mentioned you. Oh, and she no. goes, well, why did you mention me? And I said, because I played absolute dog shit today. <laughs> and when they asked me why I had the worst game of my career, I said, because there's a girl who works at the Reef Bar in Noosa <laughs> and she was feeding me alcohol all <laughs> night. And she's like, I can't believe you talked about me oh, on the news. Really? <laughs> oh. How's my American accent gone just out of interest? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not all right, bad. one more. Should yeah. we one more? Yep. Okay, um, make sure you subscribe and like, get into us. Smash uh, that if you've like got um, any of your most drunk stories, send them in. Uh, name a dead muso you'd like to see live. Uh, Jeff Buckley. Oh, good one. That's a very good one. Mm. Uh, I think Kirk Cobain's the obvious one. Oh, yeah. Yep. I know you don't agree. Nah, click a bang. <laughs> so, no, there's been enough time, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, no, I click mean, a bang. Steve Ray Vaughan for me. I was uh, thinking that too, yeah. yeah. Or Hendrix. Or oh, Hendrix, mm. yeah. Yeah, those two together. Oh, That'd be awesome. Um, Freddie Mercury. Is the oh, other one. That's fucking it. And in fact, forget I said Kirk Cobain. I don't I'd rate love to him. see Freddie Mercury. You, you don't, don't rate, rate Freddie? Freddie Mercury? Nah. You're what? an idiot. I don't like a fucking idiot. Really? Of all the fucking things you've said. Really? I just don't like Queen. I just don't don't. He was the ultimate performer. Yeah, or maybe once he gets up there and does the thing. I Have you like watched the voice. Live Aid? Queen Live Aid? Uh, it's fucking know. brilliant. They blitzed it. Like, I get that he, there. like, yeah, maybe as a performer on stage, he's good, but I don't, I just don't like the sound of his voice. Oh, okay. Fuck well, each me. Your own. That's, Sorry. That's what the fishy bee's about. Um, yeah. Everyone's got their own opinion. Uh, so, we, we touched on it quickly. Lemeth of Jan, uh, Boy Swallows Universe, the movie, oh. is oh, on is Netflix. It ne- oh, oh, is it a movie or is it a series? I don't know. I thought it was a movie. You know, I found out. Hey, what is it? I think it's a movie. Oh, movie. Okay, cool. I thought it was a series. I found out um, that one of someone just up the road there, they were they were approached to have some of that serial movie filmed at their place. Oh, Oh, true. Because there's one of the you know Titus Brosh. Yep. the, The apparently he had the big. How, mansion sort of house sort of thing. Yep. So they approached them to do it. They said no, unfortunately. Oh, really? So, oh. Yeah, so it's not going to be... You know what would have been cool? Mm. Your Chimera. I oh, know. In the movie. I'd, yeah, it would have been... <laughs> would have been in, in keeping with the yeah, with Drago's. The the have you read it, Ben? Are you up to speed? No, no. no oh, I'm, okay. I'm waiting Fuck. to see it. Oh, oh no, 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 no. you got to read nah, the book. Do the, I'm, I'm do probably the 50 pages awesome. to go. Oh, okay. I've got to nail it before... Do you like it? to see it? Do you like did you? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Did you yeah. read it or just? Listen I listened to the audio? on the audiobook. I, I I'm a shit a shit reader. I think the audiobook and ha- I haven't read it and listened to, it, but the when you when you get a good audiobook yeah. where they actually put effort into the narration, I think it's yeah. better than reading. 
I struggle oh. with reading and like I know just you do. My, my <laughs> like, A is for apple. <laughs> what is it? B what is, going is on for tonight? Is there bourbon. Like, there's going to be a, an apology episode, episode twenty. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Only if uh, you bloody, you know. I was going to say, I, I struggle when I'm reading a novel. Like if there's a, something happens in it, it just triggers me to go, oh yeah, that's right, I've got to do that for work. And then the mm. next thing, I'm a page and a half ahead. And I haven't taken in, I've yeah. read it all, but I haven't taken a single yeah. word in. Yeah. Whereas yeah. the audio books, it's yeah. perfect. Yeah. You I'll, need to get into audio books with the amount of fucking highway yeah, driving. Fucking yeah, fucking Yeah, I, I, I love it. I, I love driving now. I like... Um, uh, reading as well because it makes me tired and helps me yeah, go to sleep. Yeah. So, um, but the the storyline in it, there's a lot that I can relate to. Not the drugs or the prison stuff, but a yeah. lot of the other stuff yeah, is yeah. like totally growing yeah. up in the 70s and 80s, yeah. man. And the and the style and the, even the violence and that. It's just yeah. like, oh man, we witnessed a lot of it, so you can yeah. you relate to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Anyway, Benjo, I reckon get on it. Get Read on the first, book yep. first. Do. I don't know. We, have we had this conversation on here but about if there's ever been a... I think we have. Sorry for re- repeating content if I'm repeating it. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, if, the, if the movie's better than the book. Like, has there ever been a book that you've read and then you've watched the movie and you've thought that it, yeah, the movie's good? Did. Or is it... What about the other way around? I've never kind of experienced the other way around where you've seen the movie, then you've read the book. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's... Once you've seen the movie, you don't really want to go and read the book, do you? Mm-hmm. It's kind of... Yeah. Not going to work, yeah. but... I th- one we mentioned was Shawshank Redemption, yeah. really good. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that goes on the 11th of January. Um, so uh, we are done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Episode thanks 19 everyone in, for in tuning camp. in and listening. And if you've got any of your own um, questions, send them in to us for the Stablemate uh, yeah. question segment. Sign and up for um, Stablemate on the website back on the horse podcast.com. Yep. Uh, on there you can send your stable make questions you can send us your what the fuck stories yep um everything subscribe on tiktok youtube instagram facebook pick your pipe pick a pipe um, smash the like button you gotta smash it smash, smash it. the yeah. like button yeah. Yeah. awesome yeah cool good stuff all right thank you very much and good much we will see you again very soon rock and roll Fucking horse. <laughs>